Vlog back here with a video today, and in today's video, I'm going to be doing a part two of how to get my hockey stick, because throughout the year, I've found out different ways to my stick that I prefer more than the way I used to, and especially the top part of the stick, um, I found a really cool way that I like to tape it, and I really want to show it with you guys, and plus, the other video, as most of you guys know, it's one of my best videos on my account, uh, has the most views, I think it's sitting at around 28k right now. So, as you can see, people really enjoyed that video. So, yeah, we're going to be making a part two. But before we jump into today's video right quick, please make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video and subscribe to my channel. Because in 2019, I'm going to be doing my best to post two times a week. But sometimes I'm not going to be able to do that. But I'm going to do my absolute best to post two times a week. But if not, expect at least, no matter what, one post a week. But I'm going to be doing as best as I can to go for two. The way I'm usually going to do that though is one on the weekend and one on a weekday. For 2019 on YouTube, I have some pretty big goals. Two of them being um, reach 10k subscribers, so hit that subscribe button. But still, that's good. that's one of my biggest goals. It's going to be hard to accomplish, but I know if I stay consistent and post good content that we will keep on gaining subscribers and we will get there by the end of 2019. Anyways, another goal is to post two times a week. I know I just said that earlier. But I'm going to be doing my best post two times a week in 2019. Without further ado, let's hop right into the video. Alright guys, so to start off this video, what the first thing you're going to need is obviously a hockey stick that you're going to tape. And then you're going to need some tape. I use Howie's white tape. You can use any color you want, any other brand. Doesn't really matter. You don't necessarily need this next one, but if you want, I recommend it because it's pretty good. I like it, but uh, wax. And then you're going to need some scissors. And then you're going to need some grip tape for the top. To get started, we're going to be doing the bottom of the blade. So right here. And I kind of like to do this different now. Um, before, I used to start around like right here on the blade. Right there. But now I like to start like way at the heel. Uh, and I don't know why. I just find I get a better shot off when it's closer to the heel. It may look weird, but I like it and it's pretty good. So, just your basic tape job. You're gonna start going around the stick. And we're just gonna time lapse the rest of this taping. Alright, guys, so before we get into the toe, you're gonna see I don't like to put my pieces of tape too close together. Um, I don't know why, it's just kind of a habit. I like to keep them a decent distance apart. So yeah, so once we get to this part of the toe, once they start like, um, almost like curling up at the end, like see how it does that at the very tip? What you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna pull the edge and you're gonna wanna flatten it out into a corner like that so you can cut it off later. And then for here, since we already know it's gonna fold, we're gonna make it a bit longer. Grab here, grab there. And when you go over, it should be a bit flatter like that. And then you fold it into a corner like that. So you're gonna fold it like that and then put it there. You're gonna go on the other side. Get some extra tape around. You're gonna fold it a bit and then grab it. And then you go put it on. And then I'm just gonna do one more, just cause I don't think I've got far enough there. Grab it, and over. And then you're gonna rip or cut your tape, whatever you do, or whatever you can do. And then you're gonna grab your scissors, but before you grab your scissors and start cutting, I, I usually like to like make a, a sharper, like I used to bend it back and forth a bit to make it an easier cut, more precise if you will. So, you just cut. And then if you see any pieces that you want off after, you can simply either cut it or you can fold it down like that. So yeah. Another thing I like to do now, I find this kind of is just for looks, but it's kind of, it's kind of cool in my opinion. So see how, like you can see the tape on the other side. What I do is I push it down so that you can like see the crack more, like almost. I don't really know how to explain it. 
So you're gonna push each little strand down. So yeah, in my opinion, it just looks better like that. So as you can see, you can see the the different spacings a lot better now. I don't know if that helps at all with your shot or anything, but yeah, so we're just gonna do it on the back now. So yeah, now you can see it a bit better. And then next up, I'm gonna grab my wax. I grab my wax. I'm gonna turn it so I can face you. Turn the frame. And I, I like a good amount of wax because I don't like all the snow and ice getting stuck to my stick. So I put a good amount on. Then I go across the bottom like two or three times. Put a little bit on the toe and then the back. All right, so that completes the bottom of my stick. All right, so that completes the bottom. I right, go to so the first part that we're gonna do. Not all of you might not have to do this, but uh, I lost like the cap part, of my stick. So I'm quickly just gonna cut off a piece of tape. All right, so now we got that done. All right guys, so to start off the actual tape job on top, um, some of you guys might recognize this type of tape job from Nikki Kucherov. He did this type of tape job on a Bauer interview, I'm pretty sure, for like a little uh, series, like how pros tape their sticks. So what we're going to do is we're going to start off by going around the top of the stick eight times. Eight. So once you get the eight layers on, just going to squeeze it, make sure it's all good. It's okay if there's like wrinkles on it like that because we're going to be putting grip tape over it. So after you have the eight up top there, you're going to move down one like this. Put it right there, below it, and you're gonna go around again, but this time you're gonna do six. All right. So once you're done that part, you should start. You can, you should start feeling it like almost like decrease in size. So that's kind of the point of this grip uh, tape job up top is to make it like feel really nice. In your hand it's just it's like a different feel and I like it it's pretty good so next up I'm gonna go around four times so all right so that's the next one so pretty much the idea of this is you're gonna keep on decreasing in size of how many times you go around each time um, you don't have to do it the exact same way as I do it um, it's all preference, so you could do, if you really want to, you could do like 10, 6, 5, 3, 2, something like that. But I just do it like the way I like, whatever feels comfortable for me. So yeah, I just simply do it down. I The way I do it is I do 8, 6, 4, 3, 2, and then 1. So right now, I'm on the 2. So we're just going to go around 1. Two, right there. All right, so now we're done this part. Uh, I say I do a one, but I do the one after to hold the grip tape on. The grip tape on. All right, so now we're gonna grab our grip tape. I choose red because that's the color of my team. And you're just gonna start wrapping up your your top. Of the, you're just gonna start wrapping the top. So once you get to the bottom, you're simply gonna cut it off. And after you reach the bottom, um, personally, I don't like to just leave the grip tape by itself. I like to put a strand of white tape around the bottom. So that's what I was saying by the one strip of white tape. We're just gonna go around once. We're gonna line it up nice. Rip it. All right, guys, so that's the top. It might be a bit hard to see, but it decreases in size. So eight, six, four, three, two, and then one here. So yeah, it feels really good on the top of the hand. I recommend that a lot. 
But besides that, that's going to end off today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed me taping the bottom and top of my hockey stick. So yeah, this was a part two. If you haven't seen part one, I really suggest you go and watch part one up on my YouTube channel. I'll leave a link to it in the description. But without further ado, it would really mean a lot if you subscribe to the channel. As you know, at the end of 2019, I'm really hoping to have 10k subscribers. It's a big goal, but I know we can do it. So please, smash that thumbs up button, leave a comment, leave a like. And also, while you're at it, you should really turn on post notifications so that you never miss a new post from me. Just in case it doesn't pop up in your sub box, because sometimes YouTube can mess up like that. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Please subscribe and like the video. Peace. You better love it.